Hey guys, we are going to be testing today the first test on the Ascar 140. This is just gonna be on the moon. There are some clouds, but I have a little space there. So the moon, if I could do a star test, we'll see. And uh, maybe in like three months, we'll do a test on Saturn, which I would prefer. I do have my zapper here. Because just setting this up, like, I don't know, seven minutes, I already feel like the mosquitoes are biting me. Do we have the hardest hobby or what? It feels like it's at least 70% of the time, it's cloudy. Then you have times where it's just way too windy. And then you have times where you just can't because your schedule doesn't uh, happen. And then when you do, you might have bugs, you know, that are eating you alive in the summer. And then in the winter, it's freezing, depending where you live. So I don't know, like, I think we have the hardest hobby type of thing. Ow. Um, okay, anyway. I only let this guy cool for so far. Hey, there you go. It's, it's already killing mosquitoes. That's why I thought I'm going to take it out. It's only been cooling for about 10 or 12 minutes. So not even near enough. But um, I just want to try it out. Let's see. I'm going to take that into consideration. Like it's not nowhere near cooling. And let's just give it a go. Sometimes things don't go your way. And you make the best you can. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay guys, I have to go inside and get uh, pants uh, because these things are just biting me even with the zapper and with shorts on, forget it. So uh, hopefully it's a little bit better. Let's take a look at the moon. On the moon with no finder scope and turn on the drive. It's probably been, uh, I would say about 17, 18 minutes now cool down time. Still probably not enough for this size and a triplet, but it's pretty good. I can say on the moon, I don't see no false color. It looks pretty much color free. I'm only using a 31 millimeter ultra wide, like an 82 millimeter field of view. Let's pump up the power. Let's try an 18 millimeter super wide. Come on, Zapper, are you working or not? Today, I think, is like. Um, 27 degrees I think but with the humidity is probably up to like 35 so it is really really sharp again I'd like to try on Saturn and Jupiter but so far the moon no color aberration the focuser is very smooth I did tweak it to make it like where it's more slippery or, or softer to turn not so hard now maybe if you have a huge camera and filter wheel and stuff, you might want to put it harder. But for me, I want the slightest touch. Okay, let's pump up the power again. We are gonna jump up to a, I believe this is a 6.7 ultra wide angle, 82 degrees. That is beautiful. So much detail. Wow, this looks amazing. Why don't I try to see if I can get the camera? A cell phone camera, put it to the eyepiece and show you guys. Okay, we're using a Nagler 13 millimeter, so you can see more and it just fits in the frame. If you guys think about that, let's zoom in a little. Okay, let's take a look at these three. Is there enough cooling? Who knows? But those three look pretty good. Let's take a look at some other features along the perimeter. Seems to be a bit of clouds coming through now. Okay, what do you think of that right there? Let's, let's look down here for a second. What do you guys think? You can definitely see the atmosphere shaking, but it's actually not that bad. following this perimeter
this section over here. Okay guys, so here's a quick test. I think we're gonna call it a night. Okay guys, we're gonna call that a night. There's so many bugs out here, and as you saw from that little clip, uh, there's a lot of clouds there. But this performed very well for the first test. Now I'm not gonna completely call it yet, but so far on the moon, no color aberration, extremely sharp, sharp in contrast. Again, I never gave it too much cooling as you guys see, uh, because the weather didn't permit me type of thing focuser really nice focuser i would say it's better than the william optics one because it's just even though i tweaked it and touched it and make it more softer i just wanted to put the smoothest like finger touch to it i guess that's why feather touch calls it a feather touch right that's what i want to do put just the smallest feather touch on it and it's after adjusting it to my liking is very smooth so far i like it uh, it's very portable for its size especially when you shrink it like this and you collapse the front it really doesn't get much smaller as far as a large refractor so anyway so that's uh, the first test on the moon there's no point uh, doing a star test on a star, like Altar or whatever, because I uh, can't see me anyway. But for the first test, I'm liking it. The size, the weight, uh, the quality seems good, but it's just the mood. The next video, right on Saturn, which is what I prefer. Anyway. But uh, anyway, for now, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Everybody who's joined, thank you. Everybody who's joined from the beginning, thank you. And um, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you know anybody getting into hobby, share my channel with them. If you're on the forums and maybe someone's asked about this guy or any other video, please share my channel with them. And I do have members' uh, videos uh, for a while now. I'll put it up above. And um, it's only 99 cents. I give one video once a month just for the members. It does not go on the public uh, type of thing trying to put as low as I can. You don't have to join if you don't want to, but if you want to uh, help the channel grow, and I also put your name in the description. So why not you, why not me?